It's late afternoon and Chris has been called to a bizarre emergency. Hi there. Hi. So what's going on? I've got a pelican. An injured pelican was found stranded in the middle of a busy highway. He's wanting to have a go at me. I, I don't really mind that. He was just lying right up in, on the gutter. And I went to him and he got up, but I could see he couldn't fly away. So my biggest concern is their wings. He's having no problem getting them right out. So I'm, I'm happy with all the bones, I guess, from, from here on. Hey, buddy. Everything else I'm not too sure about. Oh, there we go. So he's got some injuries in his mouth there. So I think the, the majority of the trauma is actually coming from this bump on, on the back of his neck here. And that's where the blood's coming from as well. Looking at him, I'd say he's either been hit by a car or, or hit the power lines. And if that's happened, he's probably been lucky to survive. Okay, if you could just grab Chris to needs to take the stranded bird back to the clinic to make sure there's no fractures in his neck. The pelican is also malnourished. He may even have some injuries that are... Internal. Internal, yeah. We you right? Yep. yep. Tough little guy, aren't you? <laughs> Get a window down at the right. So what's with the pelican? It's a very good question. He's been hit by a car. Yeah, so let's take him back to the vets and get an x-ray him and... Okay, good luck. No worries. Chris's new patient is creating plenty of interest on the way back to the Bondi Clinic. I don't think you can really have a bird with so much personality like this without giving him a name, so... I don't know, I think somehow Pablo. But Pablo's personal hygiene is a worry. Oh, this is driving me insane. The worst thing is, I just don't have a spare hand to scratch the two lice that are currently crawling across my arm, as well as the 15 that are currently crawling through my hair. Just wish we could find a way through this traffic. He's still got some blood dripping from his beak, which does worry me, so hopefully we won't take too much longer. What have you got now? Pelican, mate. Can you actually give me a hand? Yeah, sure. Thanks, buddy. Back. He's either been hit by a car or running to power lines. Okay. He's also got a bit of bruising down here, so we need to x-ray this whole neck area. Hey. Ah. Oh. Chris and head nurse Neil are under siege from their unusual client in more ways than one. It's probably a good time to tell you that he's actually covered in lice as well, so thanks. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're getting freaked out, it's alright. The fact is these x-rays have to be taken. He could quite easily have a partial fracture of one of the vertebrae in Pablo's neck or even a wing fracture. X-ray! He can't be released if he does have a fracture. X-ray! Pablo, who crash landed on a busy highway, is lucky to be alive. Wow. X-rays will now reveal if he has serious neck injuries. He's certainly got a little bit of bruising around the back of his neck here, but structurally it, it's okay. So all those nerves that are running down that spinal cord, they're all right. Just support his, the base of his neck base there. His neck, okay. Right down there. Cleared of any fractures, Chris needs to feed the starving pelican immediately. For me to give him fish, feels very foreign and he's stressed out and his instinct is to regurgitate straight away. We have to prevent that by just holding his neck or even tying this cord around just to prevent that regurgitation. But we have to make him eat because he's so fragile right now, he needs nutrition. Pablo now needs to rest and recover. Look at this, Pablo. Chris has set up a temporary shelter at the back of the clinic. But while Pablo appears stable, after such a major trauma, there are no guarantees he will survive the night. OK, I think it's bedtime. Pablo! Good morning, Pablo. Of a sunbake, huh? The next day, Chris checks in on his patient. Remarkably, Pablo has survived after crash landing on a busy highway. You want the fish? Oh, Pablo, he likes the fish, huh? Even though there's been such a great improvement in his level of coordination and awareness overnight, and he looks like he's getting over that concussion, he still can't be released because he still has to build up those muscle and fat reserves. One's actually gone down a bit sideways. 
If he was released like this and went back to a situation where there wasn't much food, he'd only last another couple of days before he was back to where he was yesterday. That way. And the fact is, he mightn't be as lucky second time round. Better. Much better. Oh, you know it, don't you? You know it, not just yet. Patience. And it's home time as well for the traffic stopper Pablo. People, um, people don't really accept you, do they? You notice that? Why is that, do you reckon? He's in good enough shape to go back to his seaside address near where he was rescued. <laughs> this, oh, he's pooed on me. You worked out what's going on? He really looks a lot better since he's been with us. We bonded, you know. We're man enough to admit it. He just looks a lot more lively too and his feathers are a lot more wider and brighter. And he just seems more proud in everything he does. He's swimming strongly and just taking it all in, working out where he is. But he'll find the rest of the pelicans and he'll be happy. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.